lost that one in the 88 Open against Purefoods and in the 1995 Governor's Cup against Alaska Milk. And opening toss, nakuha ng Alaska Milk. I think that the two main men of both teams took the first shot. Johnny Abarientos from Long Range, hindi pumasok ang kanyang tira. At si Asay Tono naman on the other side. But Kenneth Derendez getting the first bat. Wala pa post-up move ito si Nelson Asay Tono. But it looks like he's looking for his other teammates to get involved in the offense. Here we go with a fast break, two points. Off that turnover, Alaska is one of the best. This other time, San Miguel able to play good transition defense, stopping the fast break, two points. Hawkins at low post, laban kay Daniel Defonso, triple team. Dito lang mas ka, Barrientos. Three points up! All net! That might be trouble for San Miguel. He's one player that can really dominate a game. Johnny can do it from the outside and the inside. One thing, he's settling things down. They want to go to their half-court set. They want to be able to put the ball in the hands of a free shooter. El Defonso Salabas and finally gets the first two points. It's something Miguel Beer after nearly four minutes of action here. Seven. Oh boy. Which team would it be, Alaska or San Miguel and why? <laughs> well, it'd have to be San Miguel because I really think they could uh, use my outside presence. Uh, especially right now when Nelson's struggling, I, I could be uh, another option on offense for him. And look at this rebounding. Nelson Asaitono finally using his muscle underneath and getting his first basket. That's a good sign for San Miguel here. Crashing the offensive points, getting more than just one attempt at the basket. That should just help uh, Nelson tremendously right there. All the previous misses right now should be erased. If there's anything about Nelson Asaitono, he has raced this game in boards a game, and you know but he's also putting in the points para sa San Miguel Beer. He misses his three-point play. However, it's still a three-point lead para sa Alaska Milk. Seven minutes and 13 remaining in game number seven, first quarter. Here's Wino inside. Wide open. What happened there? A wide open breakdown of the defense. Around the basket. San Miguel has to keep this game close early. They have to stay in the game by getting easy buckets playing good D, or else it could be previous, just like game six, the blowout. And that's also a good sign. Stepping their games up, making sure that it doesn't happen twice in a row. And it looks like in this game, that may be a big factor. The heart, the spirit to win. Dorem, or rather Hawkins, nasa labas, hinahanap si Lastimosa. He goes inside, goes drop pass, Wino, side jumper, and puts Wino on the board with four... Right now, there just seems to be a lid over the bucket for Nelson. He just has to keep on shooting. Noy, do you feel, Noy, that San Miguel is trying to outshoot Alaska in the series, at least in the last three games? Uh, you know what? I think so. You know, San Miguel is so... No Lalabi sa ating first quarter. Mostre, binigay kay Nelson Asaitono. They're still in the long court. Four seconds on their shot clock. Rasella gets another basket. And Rolson Rosella now with four points in the game, and the lead is down to one for Alaska Milk. Well, we were talking about hard. Olsen Rosella actually was a doubtful player for this game, suffering a painful hamstring pull. Now, Noy, let me ask you the question. In a game like this, with a championship on the line, when do you feel the jitters most? In the first quarter or the fourth quarter? Well, in a game like this. First quarter. And at Durantes, who has played magnificent basketball in the series. At low post, in Nila, Bong Hawkins, Tumina Salabas. That'll be short. Hold Wino with an offensive rebound. Nobody boxing him out. And Wino, by our count, has about, what, six points in this game? Watch Wino with six points. You're correct, Kenito. Four rebounds, the Lawas offensive glass. And Alaska, in terms of uh, second chance points, has outscored San Miguel in the series. El Defonso, sumaksak sa loob. Inilabas kay Mike Mustre. Mustre gives it to Freddy Abuda. Jump shot. Yes! Surprise basket. Malaki Freddy Abuda. Now that's a good sign for San Miguel. Also with the lead pass from Abarientos. A minute and 43. Dito sa ating unang yugto. Hawkins. Abarientos is the open man. Patay na naman. Johnny Abarientos with five points. And the lead is back to five points here, 17 to 12. A little too slow in the rotation. Edo si Olsen Rosella was covering up Giorgio Lastimosa on the other end. Awala ito si Gianni Abarientos. Last time down the court, San Miguel took a very difficult shot, you know, off-balance uh, off shot with the shot clock running down. That's a tough shot. 
Daniel Defonso getting inside and uh, also leading the scorers. Para San Miguel Pier with a total of six. And that's a veteran move. Getting the ball down low and making that curl, that turn using the glass with a baby hook. Yeah, you wouldn't think a rookie can do that. Yeah, it's a higher percentage shot than the off-balance shot. Oh, what a move! Johnny Abarientos on the baseline. Abarientos looking downstairs, sees an opening. Gets blocked by Daniel Devonso. Aceitono in a apple, Abarientos. Sapal ni Pochvino! Helter Skelter basketball. Bong Hawkins, wala! Rasella gets it with five seconds remaining. Rasella parin. Sasak sak salob. Nila Paskinelson, a second remaining. Three point shot off the line. What a quarter! And Johnny Abariantos continues to fly. The flying A with a total of seven points in Alaska on top by five after 12 minutes of action. Second quarter action underway now at Natapigan. Seals and Rosella, Rodney Santos in the ball game for the first time gets his first field goal off a fast break. Si Villamin is also in the game. Kasama si Alan Kaidik at si Art de la Cruz naman para sa San Miguel Pier Kinito. That's a big switch. Now, Rodney Santos, he's got the size advantage over Rose and Rosella. Nakaupo ngayon si Johnny Abrientos. Pinagpapahinga ni uh, Coach Tim Cohn. Si Asay Tone naman, nakaupo rin for San Miguel Pier. And look who's here to do when it comes to a game seven. In the meantime, good defense ng Alaska laban kay Yoy Villamin. Duremdes takes a jump shot sa tabi and Duremdes gets another basket. A total of six points now. One on one, Laban kay Alan Kedik, na double team ni Villamin. They move it around, Libre na naman si Portuino. Another breakdown on defense, Noy. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Right? Alaska just gets way too Yung pasa ni Yoy Villamin, however, Kedik is still there, and then Ago Pan again at Duremdes. And here's Captain Marbo. Gives it to Lastimosa with a left hand, but offensive foul. Barry, prior to that basket, offensive foul ang Idinawa de la Cruz. They have a fresh 24. Low post play. Ildefonso, oh, quick move from the rookie. Going for the high percentage shot. Nelson Osaitono still can't get things going from outside, Noy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. He just he has to find a way to get going. I think he needs to penetrate, get draw a foul, maybe get an easy bucket or something. Alaska committed only six turnovers back in game six, a record in a finals game. Samantala, Tamira si Bong Hawkins atabe. And the lead is back to nine points, 27 to 18. Another outside. Hawkins way off the mark there. Outlet pass. Abuda high off the board. Voila, he gets his own miss. Point with Nelson. You know, he wants to play well so bad that, you know, maybe he's just pushing it a little bit too much. Well, right now there's Freddy Abuda. There's a drop pass. Oh, nice extra pass. Napayungan, si Rodney Santos. Abantes si Nelson as You're looking for a dunk here. No, just a layup. As I thought of looking at Kenneth Dorendez game, Parasalas Camel, they have dominated this first half. Oh, a small man going up against the big man, and there's the foul. And that cuts down the Alaska lead to 6 20. Go back to the throne they used to occupy. Of course, Alaska last occupied it in 96. San Miguel in 94. Jump shot, Nelson Asaitono. And that lead is down to 4. And now that time, Nelson Asaitono was close to the basket. Yeah, that was a good look for Nelson. I think the lid is lifted from the rim for Nelson. And Alaska sues for time. Rebound, Nakuwani Bong Hawkins. Abarientos sees an opening, drops it off. Lastimosa goes inside, jump shot off the glass. Slashing. Well, I think they're trying to get uh, Nelson Azaitono as down low, perhaps for him to try to get some offensive rebounds. Whoa, what a shot! Off balance shot on the run. The slasher, Rodney Santos. That's what Alaska can hit you in so many ways. You, know, you just can't uh, concentrate on one guy because they come at you. Every player comes at you. Rodney so Santos. Weapons. Oh, yes. Second pick overall back in 96. And he has certainly been a big help off the bench. Marakitim Cohn. 
El Defonso, that's good ball movement by San Miguel Bill. Again, it started when Nelson was like on a post, it's a slow things down. Anim po ang abante ng Alaska Mill, 32-26, under a minute to play here in the second quarter. Now it's Danny posting up, turn around shot, not there. And the pass broken up, De La Cruz picks it up. Asaitono challenges the defense and he will draw five. Giorgio Lastimosa slapped the technical. Alam mo, last year, he had six technical fouls all in all in the entire year. Olsen Rosella, one of the league's top free throw shooters. Gets the free throw. Right now, as you take a look at Nelson Asaitono fashioning his free throws. Back to back, all Filipino conference. MVP 97-98. Last shot time of the half. Asaitono looks up at the clock. Three seconds it reads. Three points shot. Big shot, big shot for Nelson. And if you want to end a first half, that's the way you want to end it, Tony. Oh, yeah, I bet that really feels good for Nelson now. Dominated the block shots department, but obviously San Miguel is not giving easy shots inside. Yeah, San Miguel is really not known for their uh, block shotting capability. And also Rosella scoring from three point range. That's a big shot because that gives the lead to San Miguel Beer at this stage. Now, during halftime, we were saying that. Alaska likes to explode in the third quarter. Let's see whether which team is going to explode here. Oh, basket inside. When you have the ball and the rebound, particularly against a swarming defense, you need to put two hands in the ball and keep it low. And the lead swings back to Alaska Milk, 35 to 34. Rosella. This is the starting lineup of both teams. As I don't know, getting a guilty on the stretch. Oh. And that's going to be a defensive goaltending. As I don't know, playing decoy that time, he had the ball, he faked the shot, but he knew there was going to be a strong side cut from Daniel DeFonso. Yes. And plus, there's good spacing when Nelson Asaitono has the ball outside. There's space for, for Il DeFonso to come in strong. Oh, it's really good. Hey, Daniel DeFonso, you're throwing the ball. This is a historic Game 7. Only the eighth time it has happened in PBA history. In the meantime, Johnny Abariendos. Galbir, pero dito dito sa second half, dinaman niya kanya mga bata. Kailangan may clamp down tayo, lalo lalo na kanya sa Asaitono. At dito sa ofensiba ng San Miguel Bill. Sa nantala, kalipong tayo sa no. Quino, who picked up his second personal foul. And look at his Game 6 numbers. That's true, but things turned out on the shell. And very happy there. Well... Daniel Defonso turned 21 years old last December 8th, so he's got a long career ahead of him, and what a performance he's showing oh, here yes. in his very first conference as a pro. Ron Jacobs has said he is he was the missing link. And a good shot. Six points in the game for Jolas. Lead swinging back and forth. Alaska on top by one. That much time remaining. Game number seven, third quarter action. Mustre, Bumira Andres, Patay! And that took a long time coming from Mike Mustre. It's been a while since we saw Mike Mustre. And yes, Mike Mustre, he did score in game number five, he scored only four points. In game number six, good things happen for San Miguel Beer because they get good rotation and they get the free spot-up shooter to make the shot. And that should be a good sign, Noy, when more people get, are getting involved in the offense of San Miguel Beer. As you see, this loose ball foul against Nelson Asaitono. Third quarter action, 5.41 remaining. Abante po ang San Miguel Beer ng dalawang puntos, 41-39. At ang may bola ngayon, ang Alaska Milk. They led for most, if not the entire first half. Pero ngayon, ang San Miguel, medyo bumibira na ng bahagya. Lastimosa, oh, highest this game. Well, that's the point we were saying. Mulup, mulup. Muli po, kami nagagalak na makasama kayo, Pilipinas. Noli Iyala po, kasama si Kinito Henson at si Noy Castillo. Para sa game, ano, power move, wala. Dorendes, foot race, laban kay Mike Musler. He goes up. Too strong, Hawkins with offensive rebound, but a loose ball foul. 
will be called against the Hawk. Behind his, uh, oh, that was in his mind when he took off. He didn't want another charging foul, and that's why he changed his shot in midair. Lastimosa, Laman Villoye Villamin. Hawkins, mismatch right there. Gets oh, yes. Marcella out of the way, and a good spin for Lucky Bob Hawkins. No good. Yeah, for the rebound, let's get up the remnants. Another three point miss by San Miguel Beer. Inside two points. And not there, but Yoyo Villamin will be called for the foul. And Wino almost had the slam dunk. Wino. You know, we'd like to comment here that this is a very rare situation where three former most improved players are on the court at the same time. Poch Wino. Played for Alaska from 87 to 1990. And he was, in fact, one of those that brought Alaska to their first championship finals. Back in 1987, your second and third conference, he was the most point lead for as a milkman. That much time remaining in the third quarter. Game number seven. Wino called for steps. Arte La Cruz, pinilis na kagad yung tirang yun. What a shot to take by Arte La Cruz. A lot of time left. And here's the fast break attempt. What a move. Mula kay Johnny Alvarez. We are seeing it now. This is a big possession right now. Asai Tono for three, way off. Offensive rebound in De La Cruz, nabitawa ng bola. And there's gonna be a foul by Yoyo Villamin. That's a bad foul with only a second remaining here. And he has been very steady from the free throw line. here. And Alaska on top by nine. Ibinato ni Alan kay Dick. At dyan po magwawakas ang ating third quarter, a nine to nothing run. with a drive para sa Alaska Milk. Right now, Alaska with has four fouls uh, with the way Sam McGill's offense is struggling right now. He's got to put Danny in. Well, this is 11 straight points now by Alaska going back to the third period. That's right. That's an 11-0 run and San Miguel Beer's offense has fallen asleep. From the last time we were tied at 43, hindi na nakascore ang San Miguel. As I told him, I can see the puang ni Luzo ba defensa and what a move from the ball. Well, as I told him, badly needed that shot, Noy. He's got to use his power to move close to the basket. He should refrain from taking the uh, screen. Eight seconds, sa lang shot clock. Johnny goes up, forces that one, and he draws a foul. Right now, we can see si Ron Jacobs. We need win. The last uh, ditch defense that he will have to play against Jorge Lastimosa. Still an 11-point lead for the Milkmen, going for their eighth title there in their 11th finals appearance in the last 12 conferences. As Aitono powers his move inside. Almost a miscue here. Three-point shot. Voila. Alan Gaidik has simply struggled in the series. Dorandes. Ramas is inside, and this time he will redeem himself. A great pass coming from Kenneth Dorandes. That's the way you run a fast break, bringing the ball up the middle and then looking for the open, open man in the passing lane. They have the best fast break in the PBA. They're so good at that, getting up and down the floor. Johnny's on the bench, taking a break. They have a nice little lead here. He can take his break and then come back in and uh, for the stretch run of the game. I think that's a great point that you make, Noy. This is a big luxury for Tim Cohn, and it's going to put a lot of pressure on coach Ron Jacobs down the stretch. A luxury that Sam McGill doesn't have right now, being down for one and also the injuries that they have. Again, yung pacing ng mga tao dito, Alaska has had the luxury because of their lead. Kaidik, yes! Alan Kaidik banging his fourth point in, and the lead is cut to eight points, 58-50. Nine minutes remaining in the final quarter. We're happy to have you with us, Philippines. Lalong lalo na sa ating mga kababayan dyan po sa San Pablo City at sa Los Baños, Laguna. Rodney Santos, laban kay Olsen Rosella. Six seconds to shoot. Dorandes, inikot nila kay Lastimosa. He knows it. He goes up. And that will trickle out. Ang dami naglilipara dito, partner. And as I told he finds himself on the floor. It will be a loose ball foul. And outside of the play, good. Oh, yes. Kevin Ramos will be called for that foul. Under shot clock. See, Allen really wants the ball right now. Over ratio last season, 4.4 to 1, and he might only twice, but it's been that big 9 to nothing run to end the third quarter that, that has been the key part of this ball game. And oh, Hawkins, beautiful defense. 
Beautiful defense by Bong Hawkins taking it out of the hands of Nelson Azaitono as he tried to post up. Oh, libre naman si Pochuinho! Again, a great look inside and nobody... Lead is up to 10 points. 7 minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Rasela. Azaitono again playing the long court. Now he goes inside. He goes up. Off the glass. Andos Yard de la Cruz for the putback. But again, it was Nelson Azaitono. And another opportunity for San Miguel to come close. Azaitono drops it off. Art de la Cruz again with eight points now in the ball game. Back to back baskets. Sa ng hagon. With Art de la Cruz. That's right. In the previous play. Lastimosa. Hawkins. Libre siya Barrientos. He does not take the shot, however. Nine seconds of shot clock. This time he takes it. Oh, yes. That's a big shot again. They don't have the triangle, they go for the... Have a fresh 24. Well, we talked about how important rebounding was at the top of our coverage. Oh, what and a pass! Time. There you go. What a layup! The flying A. It's a 10-point lead. Lastimosa and Abarientos connecting. 20 points para Gijani Abarientos. And San Miguel Beer is in dire straits right now. Inside pass, De La Cruz fakes, goes up. Pumasok. Almost went out there. And the lead is down to eight. Minutes and 34 remaining. And we're glad to have you with us, Philippines. Asaitono gets away and gets the basket. Make a sum up foul. Nelson, not too good from the free throw That's line right. in this game. Look at his field goal shooting. Seven out of 25 today. But kagaya na sinabi ni Ron Jacobs, I have rode the ball and I can't say tono. And again, Rosella looking for that pick to be set by Nelson Asaitono. He gets the ball once more. Under three minutes to play. Kai Dick, libre si Del Difonso. Two minutes at Oh, that's a big shot. From the baseline, open line, a different offensive option for San Miguel Beer. Only two and a half remaining in the basketball game. Alaska is on top by three points. Hawkins is inside. Tough oh, shot! Yes. What a move! He was in deep. Hawkins was... Two minutes and seven remaining. Limang puntos ang abante ng Alaska. Inside pass. De La Cruz, sablay and tira. A tough shot as we enter the last two minutes. Brought to you by Hope Luxury Cigarette. The largest selling luxury cigarette. You see Johnny here really taking control of the game. Directing traffic. Lastimosa. Cross court pass. Abarientos takes the jump shot. Yes! Oh, yes! Good ball rotation. Off the double. It's still, this is still far from over. A minute and 42, seven point lead para sa Alaska. But they're certainly looking good at this stage. Rasela, naipit. De La Cruz, binigay kay Alan Kaidik. Kaidik has the open lay. He goes up and he gets that basket. Lead is down, sum up to five. A minute and a half remaining. Looking for a defensive stop. It's Abarientos. a five-point lead. Si Wino, hindi titira yan. And they're milking the clock, which is the right thing to do. San Miguel Beer not forcing the issue. Neither team in the penalty. They're not giving up the foul. Yan po ang ating shot clock. Three seconds. And it's the bounce. Nabitawa ng bola ni Kenneth to rem this. And Turn now... Up. But I think they smell the sense of urgency. They'll need points in a hurry. That's true. As I don't know. Oh, oh big that's defensive, a bad. big defensive move here by Bong Hawkins. What? And it looks like San Miguel Beer will need to foul to stop the clock from running. They're not fouling. Less they than a minute to go. They're not in the penalty, Kinito. I know that they need to get into the penalty. And they're not fouling. Lastimosa gets inside. Pasa niya kaya Barrientos. Three seconds to shoot. Two minutes. Oh, oh, yes. What a shot! And the game... I think it's now put on ice. Kinito para sa Alaska Milka, seven San Miguel point Beer lead. is looking for a three-point shot at this stage now. They've got Busre, Asaitono, and Kaidik now all together. And another missed three-point shot by Nelson Asaitono. He's only got one the entire game. And that may be truly indicative of what has happened here, Noy. Yeah, you know, Nelson just never could get it going. Uh, the past two games, he just had a lid over the rim and nothing would drop for him. Well, now San Miguel Beer giving up the fouls to put San Miguel in the penalty. Well, now that was just a 15 foul. Let me ask you a quick question, Noy. 
Here in the fourth period, Johnny Abarientos has exploded with 12 of his 24 points. How would you have guarded Johnny Abarientos if you were on the court? You know, I, I don't know really if there's anything you can do. You know, he's such a great player. Uh, Sixth for in the last eight finals. That's right. And they have made it actually to 11 of the last 12 finals here in the PBA. And what a dynasty Coach Kim Cohn has established here for Alaska. Agagayan na banggit mo sa column mo today. This is a very young team. A lot of years still to play. Lastimosa, the oldest only at 34. And he's getting better as he grows older. Talaga. And they continue to add on. You know, one thing about San Miguel Beer, nothing to be ashamed of. Who would have thought that San Miguel Beer would have even reached a Game 7 in the finals? But again, you have to, I guess, feel the pain of San Miguel. Deja vu from 1995. They were up 3-2 in that series. And they lose the championship in seven games. As Alaska comes down to the final second. And Alaska is the team of the 90s as they win their eighth title and the 1998 McDonald's PBA All-Filipino. Nelson Asaitona there. And they continue to party here, Kinito, and they truly deserve this title. Oh, I think so. They play their heart out. And of course, Johnny Abarientos delivering the goods. He was supposed to do that. Nelson Azaitona was supposed to do that for uh, San Miguel Beer, but it was Abarientos who got the job done. Botswinho, a big player today. Noy, together with, of course, Bong Hawkins. Wino scored a total of